Okay, folks, so we're at the first stage of installing the Omni slot box on our uh, track. Um, we have removed the original uh, Carrera control unit. Um, and now we need to uh, check the continuity um, with the control unit removed and that's to make sure that the lanes are isolated. So we'll attach this to the rails and I'll get Sasha to check them. All right, Sasha, can you check that one? Okay, and all the other ones up along. And the pits as well. Okay, now I'm going to move it up to the next. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's keep going. All right. And, and check the pits as well. Perfect. Okay, that's what we want. And then the last one. This one for me? Yeah. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, how are we getting on, Sash? I can't confirm the rails are isolated. Nice work. Okay, so we have tested that and all our lanes are isolated, all the rails are isolated, um, which is good. Sash, have we got the thumbs up? Yes, thumbs up. Okay, so we have our um, modified control unit um, from Jim over at Nomad Raceways. Um, we're just checking it out. There's a nice, nice sticker down along here. Um, so what we now have to consider is very heavy duty connections, which is really great to see. Um, so what we've got to arrange is actually to drill uh, a large enough hole um, in the actual layout. So we can then nice and tidily bring that down underneath and connect up to here. So um, with the magic of video, we'll do that in the next shot. We just installed the Omni Slot Box Control Unit and this is our old one. Okay, and um, so how did we install it? We drilled a hole in the plaster and now I'm going to show you where the hole is. Okay. So there's this big metal thing, there's a hole, yeah. and then we're going to attach this to the back here. Okay, awesome. Alright, well we'll keep going then I guess, and we'll do another video soon. Yeah. So we already installed the Omni slot box, and I just wanted to have a quick chat how easy it is to switch from analog to digital. Awesome. Okay. So why don't you show us the equipment we've got here first, Sasha, and uh, you can then tell us what we need to do. So we got the Omni slot box that yeah. we use a lot, definitely for racing. And then we got the power supply. 
And is that an adjustable power supply? Yes. Okay, so what's the first stage then? So we first have to turn on the power supply. Okay, and what kind of volts are you going to be running today? 14.5. All right. Okay, so we can see the fancy uh, digital readouts on the Omni box. Yeah. This is the premium version, so we like to have those extra uh, readouts. It's easy to see from a distance. You know, the voltage is in red, amperage in green, and we like yeah. that. Uh, yeah. So we would rather pay the extra just to have that functionality. Um, there is a an alternative, I think it's a, a version that doesn't have those digital displays, and that's fine for some people. It's yeah. definitely an option. You could uh, contact uh, Jim Cunningham, um, who manufactures these, and he will help you out. Yeah. Okay, so next step, right? Um Let's say I want to run analog. Can you tell me what you need to do? So you see the words say that analog and digital? Yeah, I do. Well, there's a switch in the middle, a safety switch. Okay, so when it's in the central point, that means everything is safe. Yeah. So nothing can run on either system. So then how do we run analog? So we switch it to the analog, and if it turns green, then it's on analog. Awesome, okay. And why don't you just show people then? Let's give the a demonstration. We have the slotted Nissan. All right, why don't you put that on the lane there and just show everybody how that works? Okay. Perfect. Okay, Sash. And you bring that one back in. Now let's uh, switch to digital. So why are you taking that off the track there, Sasha? Is that a safety uh, reason? Yes, because if we just left it on the track yeah. and we just switched it, it would just go full splash all the way around backwards. Yeah, okay. So when you're finished then, would you switch that into the neutral position? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to switch it into the safety side? Okay, and you've removed the analog car from the track. Awesome. Um, and now to digital. Okay. So we're in red, which is digital mode. And as you can see, our Carrera CU has now popped into life. Yep. All right, Sasha. So we have a Ford Mustang GTY digital car. Let's uh, show everybody how it works. Okay, lights are on, good sign. Very nice. And there you go, folks. Perfect digital operation. Very nice. So I think what I wanted to just mention to people was, is that the Omni slot box is a commercial grade system. Yes. Right? It's got commercial grade parts in there. It's very, very robust. It, you, you, you get what you pay for. Yeah. And the difference with the Omni slot box as opposed to a lot of the other switchers on the market is that the other switchers on the market use digital chips. And digital chips constantly get overloaded and fry yeah. and they are completely fine for some people and that might work out well for them but i mean digital chips are not not cheap and we just didn't want that kind of concern because we wanted to be able to run any motor we wanted yeah. any car on this and if you're looking for something that you can run all the high powered motors including wing cars <laughs> commercial grade cars, uh, high amperage motors, the Omni slot box is the only solution yes. for you. Um, it is pretty much plug and play. The instructions there are exceptional. The build quality is there. Um, we just find it a very, very robust system. And yeah, we're just very, very comfortable and confident in that. Yeah. And um, yeah, I would suggest, um, Speak to Jim Cunningham yes. and he'll fill you in on any details you need. So thank you for showing us that today, Sash. I You're think welcome. that 
that's an excellent demonstration and Sasha just yep yeah, popping that into the central position again safety you just need to make sure not to leave your cars on the track yeah to avoid any of that but yeah excellent so thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe bye